What's up, hungry people? It's Rex with Eat Magazine and Eat OC Now. I'm here with Bill. We're at Lead Belly, and we're talking about meat, barbecue, smoked meats, grilling, and the inception of Lead Bellies. Seven years ago, I decided that I didn't want to work for the man anymore. I decided to open my own restaurant. Unfortunately, it's a lot harder than I thought. So. I've been cooking on a grill since I was seven years old. As soon as I could reach it, I was cooking. And I've just done it ever since, and I absolutely love it. Uh, barbecue is just a flame. Uh, it could be anywhere from 250 to 400 degrees. Smoking is low and slow, 190 to 225 degrees, uh, three to four to nine to 10 to 12 hours cooking time. So at Lead Bellies, do you like it low and slow or hot and fast? Low and slow. Low and slow, okay, absolutely. so this is a, a smoking restaurant. Yeah, absolutely. So do you have an actual smoker back there? Yes, we do. How much meat do you smoke a day, Bill? I'd say 100 pounds minimum. Maximum, probably close to 180. What does 100 pounds look like? What is, it, what is that? This? Well, it's a lot. Four pork butts, three briskets, 10 to 12 racks of ribs, eight to 12 pieces of tri-tip every day. Where did lead bellies come from? My brother and I were moving uh, boxes one day, and I was very round in those days, and I was just Wait standing in the way. You were round? Meaning round. Oh, you were heavy? Yes. Oh, really? And uh, so he looked at me, and as he was carrying the box, he said, get out of my way, lead belly. <laughs> it was the only time he ever said it to me. Uh, it was probably 25 years ago, and it stuck with me. What are your favorite items on your menu? It's like asking me which one of my kids I like more. It just depends on the day. Um, we create all the time. I'm changing things, doing specials, updating the menus. Our biggest seller is the loaded pork fries. That totally came about by an accident. A customer was in here and said, hey, can you modify this? And it was born. It was not my idea originally, and it grew from what customers wanted. Trinity Burger, which includes tri-tip, the North-South Burger, which is um, pulled pork and beef. We do cornbread, coleslaw, potato salad, beans, mac and cheese. It's a, it's a jalapeno mac and cheese, so it's got a little bit of a flavor to it. Collard greens, cream corn, vegetables, rice, side salads. We do have some diet food if needed. Diet food? Exactly. <laughs> Low carb diet, right? You fit right into that. Absolutely. And paleo, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. I do have some paleo customers. Gluten free. Nine draft beers between 25 and 30 cans, bottles. We do craft beers, we do uh, traditional beers. We kind of go the, the whole nine yards. This is not your first time working in a restaurant or around it. When I was uh, 16, I got a job in Fullerton at Giovanni's. After about 10 years, I went and worked for Home Depot. I worked there for about 18 years in the management and realized that I knew how to run a business, I knew how to barbecue, and I liked people. So why not put it all together and open my own restaurant? So how many years in restaurant experience? 25. Wow, 25 before you opened Lead Bellies? Yes. Okay, and then how many years in running other people's businesses? About 17 years. And some of it was concurrent. So if you're doing math at home, I worked two jobs. When I worked at Home Depot, I worked in the restaurants for another probably about five years after that. So you're not 75 years old, but just look. Correct. I look like I'm 75, but I, I'm certainly not. If you feel like that, right? That's what restaurants do to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just do. So what's your advice to people who want to be restaurant owners? Yeah, don't do it. Okay, so what's the future of Lead Bellies Hold? You got new items, another second Lead, lead Bellies coming up? You know, it would be nice to do a second one. Uh, oh. Whether or not that comes to fruition, we'll have to see. It's got to be the right location. Food-wise, we change all the time. I'm working on a new special pork belly burnt ends. Okay. Uh, we'll see what how that goes. Um, we've done it a couple of times and it's pretty pretty darn good. Pork belly burnt ends. Look yes. forward to that. You must have something on the item that you like. What do you eat normally here? What would be your you know, go-to? Uh, I'm gonna tell I'll tell you what I'll have for lunch today, because I've been thinking about this since about three days ago. I'm gonna have the meatloaf sandwich. Uh, it's just one of my favorite things on the menu at this moment. Um, I don't eat it that often because I can't. Um, you know. Can't, it's like working in an ice cream store. You can't eat ice cream all the time. So, uh, but that's what I'm planning on for lunch today. Can't be a user and a pusher all the time. Exactly. That's what I tell you. The first time you walk in the door, we'll get you. We'll hook you, and then you'll be back. So what are some things that people say when they come in here, maybe for the first time and try 
you know, it's it's usually a recommendation from a friend, or it's a recommendation off of some type of social media, and um, it's it's tough to please everybody. But I guarantee you that most of the people that walk out of this place are happy they came in. Absolutely. There you have it, Lead Bellies with Bill. Lead Bellies two, maybe coming up. Maybe. Maybe. Anyhow, come check it out. It's a great place to eat. I know you're gonna like it.